Hi guys! Um, for my first ever Vibe vlog, I'm actually taking us from Birmingham down to London uh, because I'm reporting back from the Florence Foster Jenkins world premiere, uh, which I was actually a guest at this evening. Uh, it was an incredible evening, absolutely amazing. Um, and the highlight of it was undoubtedly getting to meet Miss Streep herself, um, Queen Meryl, she was lovely. Um, and amazingly, not one, not two, but met her three times <laughs> over the course of the evening, though, which was incredible. Um, I'm a big fan of Stephen Frears anyway, who is the director of the film. Um, and when it, the film comes out, I definitely recommend going to see it. I will link across to my full review of it. Um, it'll probably be in some annotation or comment or somewhere. It'll be appearing somewhere on screen, the link to that. Um, it's a wonderful film. I love, as I said, I love Stephen Frears' work. Um, and Meryl Streep, unsurprisingly, is amazing in it. Um, but also, Hugh Grant's really good in it as well. I've never been a massive fan of Hugh Grant, but he's actually really good um, in this film. And it's probably a career best performance from him. And, and he was there tonight as well, he was on the red carpet. So, I travelled down to London earlier today for this event. Um, even when I arrived this afternoon, um, it was a good couple of hours or so before the premiere started. And there was already, you know, quite quite a few, uh, quite a big crowd gathered, uh, which is, I suppose, it's unsurprising really, because it was a world premiere, and it was also obviously Meryl Streep. Um, and I was a bit cheeky. I got a few videos and whatnot, and um, stood in the crowds that were waiting outside. So I'm here in London. Um, as you can see, I am outside the Odeon Leicester Square. Um, the Florence Foster Jenkins World Premiere is going to be taking place here. Look at that suit. Um, it's going to be taking place just over a couple of hours. As you can see, the red carpet's in place. Um, there's already quite a few people here. So, um, so we're actually going to be walking the red carpet. Ooh. And then I went to the, um, the reception, which was at um, the Hampshire Radisson Blue Hotel on Leicester Square, where you got to collect your ticket and have a drink and whatnot. And I was actually on the table next, on the table next to me, it turned out it was actually like the executive producers of the film, uh, which was quite cool. And then Alexandre Desplat, who's an amazing film composer, you, you'll no doubt have heard many of his amazing compositions for film. Um, he was literally like right next to me as well. So it was a bit surreal, um, but exciting anyway. And then did the red carpet. Um, got a few cheeky videos on the red carpet as well, and even managed to get Meryl in one of them. Um, there's a policy when you're actually on the red carpet at events like this that you you know you can't take photos with the talent. So you know I couldn't actually take a photo with Meryl. The reason being the barriers are there for a reason. Um, it's obviously to protect the stars and whatnot. So <laughs> if I just waltzed up to her and was like, "Ooh, selfie," um, you know, she'd probably get mobbed by people trying to do the same. Um, but yeah, I, I got a video which she's in, which I'll put up now. There she is, like, the stream. And then after that video, I actually took a couple of pictures because I was stood literally, she was like there. Um, and then after I take that photo, literally, that was when I met her for the first time. She literally turned around and walked up right past me and I was, I was like, oh, hello Meryl. Um, and she was lovely, she said hi and she gave me a little wave and whatnot. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's one of those weird moments where you try not to be starstruck, but it's kind of hard not to be. And then, as I said, I've done quite a few red carpet experiences and been to quite a few movie premieres. Um, but this was probably the best one because usually you literally get like ushered in. And it's like, get in, get in there, you, you're, you're nothing, you're peasants. Uh, <laughs> but in fact, the security and, uh, and, and the teams that were handling this premiere were amazing. They were really good. And I was on the red carpet for a good 20 minutes, which is like almost unheard of. Usually, like I said, you just get pushed through the doors. Um, and, you know, bumped into quite a few people, saw quite a few famous people. Ridian from The X Factor was there. <laughs> Ed Miliband was there. I was taking, I was actually taking a selfie on the red carpet. And uh, Ed Miliband walked into the back of it. <laughs> so I've cropped it now, so it literally looks like I'm spying on Ed Miliband. Um, Stephen Frears was obviously there, the fantastic director. And then we went inside um, and there was a pre-film address by um, the cast. Uh, it was nice to be in the room um, with the people who actually made the film. And it's a fantastic film. I loved it. It's, it's typical Stephen Frears. It's very funny. It's very heartfelt. Um, a trope he has is a lot of his films centre around like a, 
an unconventional pairing of people. Um, and uh, I, won't, I won't spoil it too much. Like I said, I'll, I'll link to my full review um, and you can read more about it there. But I definitely recommend it. Um, it, it it's, it's a lovely film. So yeah, anyway, so I was sat down um, and then before all of the talent come on, I always usually request an aisle seat if possible for anything for film or theatre just because I'm ungodly tall, I'm like, I've got like unnaturally lanky long legs and um, so I usually request an aisle seat and because I was on the aisle literally as um, like uh, the talent were, were, were coming down to um, go up onto the stage literally I turned and there was Meryl Streep again <laughs> she was literally stood right next to me like literally I could have touched her if I wanted to but I didn't because I didn't want to get chucked out. But I did say hello again. So I got to say hi to her again then. Uh, so that was the second hello. And then after the film, as I was leaving the cinema, um, literally, you kind of all filter out. As I was walking out, she was literally walking out of the next door to get into a limo, you know, special car, which was right in front of the exit to the Odeon Leicester Square. Um, and as she got in, I gave her a little wave again. <laughs> got a little wave back. So yeah, it was it was quite surreal. Um, it, going forward, these vlogs that I do and like my contribution to the vibe isn't going to just be me basically, you know, you know, strutting my feathers and going, oh, guess who I met? And there's going to be more meaningful content than that. But I thought it was just uh, a nice starter because uh, you don't get much better than Meryl, to be fair, and you don't get much bigger than Meryl. So I thought it'd be a good kickstart because I got to go to this amazing event. Um, it was, you know, I'm somebody from Birmingham, from the West Midlands and whatnot, so um, hopefully I'll be get to take you, our vibe viewers, to um, many more events like this. I also do press conferences and interviews and whatnot as well, so hopefully that's something that we're going to be able to share with you further down the line as well. Um, but yeah, it was an incredible experience. Um, got to meet a genuine legend three times and um, see a brilliant film. Uh, the film's out, I believe it's out in UK cinemas on the 6th of May. So definitely go check that when it, check that out when it comes out because it's a lovely film, um, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another vlog um, where you know who knows what'll be next. We'll see. Thanks a lot, guys. Expand your diaphragm, Florence. <laughs>